All right, my rockin' red star. Yes. Yes. Today, for our skilled drill cook, what I am making, crab cakes with a corn and pepper salad with a Creole mustard sauce. First thing that we're gonna start off with, look at, we're just gonna grill the corn till it's charred on all the sides. You don't need to oil or salt or anything. We'll do that later. We have a red onion. We're gonna make decent sized slices. We wanna put a little char on the onions too. Then the next thing, we have a red pepper. Check this chisel out. Boom. All right, we're just gonna roast that pepper. We're gonna char it everywhere. This is part of our salad. Get that going first and then we can bounce over into crab cake stuff. We're gonna need, for our crab cake recipe, the saltines. We're gonna pulse it up. I like to use these guys because they're super dry and really well flavored. All right, and we want these all pretty uniform. All right, there we go. All right, see, look what's going on here. All right, so I'm just gonna let it burn and then I'm gonna turn it around so it's black on all the sides. This is called making a roasted red pepper, right? So you see how this is black, but this part here is turned to white. When it turns white, instead of just charring the skin, what's happening is the flesh of the pepper underneath is actually burning away. So we wanna have as little of that as possible. So yes, you can overcook this. So now, Let's talk the big money item. This is what's called jumbo lump crab meat. So what we need to do with this is we need to pick the crab meat. The idea here is there may be some little pieces of shell in there, but we wanna break these up as little as possible. You can't really see the shells, but you can feel the shells. So just kind of feel around each piece. Try not to break them up because we wanna feel those nice big lumps of crab. But meanwhile, we're keeping an eye on what's going on here. So when your pepper is black everywhere, turn your burner off, we're gonna put it in a bowl and we're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and let it just hang out. Because that's hot in there, it keeps all this steam and the condensation inside there and that charred skin of the pepper will fly right off. I'm doing corn, I'm doing onions, I'm doing peppers. I have my cracker crumbs ready and I'm picking crab. I'm a crab picker. <laughs> crab picker. So I'm just feeling through. The shells where you might find little pieces are in the pieces that have kind of broken apart. You can't really see them. I'm just sort of feeling around the outside of all of them. All right, there we go, done. So my crab meat in a bowl. Our onions are doing, look at that, nice stuff. I'm gonna take these right off, those are done. My corn, done. Okay, so all of the stuff that we are gonna add to our crab meat, we are going to mix it together on the side and then gently stir it into our crab cake, all right? Now, I have mayonnaise. We have a Worcestershire sauce. We have seafood seasoning. All right. This is Creole mustard. One egg. Juice and zest of half a lemon. Save this lemon, all right? Because you're gonna use the other half of it for your sauce. Now I have chives, long slices, and we only cut through once. All right. We're just mixing this up till it's all mixed together. All right, there we go. Now, my crackers. Okay, there you go. Now, now very gently. We just wanna get everybody combined. We really don't wanna break up the crab meat, but we wanna get all of that yummy, saucy goodness and the cracker crumbs and the crab all mixed together. All right, in the meantime, my pepper, check out this. Ooh. Watch. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> what? Oh. Right, right? All that oh. skin wow. comes right off. Oh. And you are left with a cooked pepper. 
Let's give it a super quick rinse to just get a lot of this char off the outside. You know, like a little bit of water just to get as much char off there as you can. And there we go. So our corn. So I stand it up big side on the bottom. Oh, oh. beautiful. Look at that right in the bowl. And look, it's all contained. So then we take our knife and look at this. This is a thing that a lot of people don't do. This is like the best, sweetest, loveliest, milkiest little part of the corn. So just one or two swipes, and keep turning all the way around and boom, done. Now we have our pepper. I'm just pulling the stem out. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. Any seeds or any of this white stuff in here, this pith, we just pull it right out. And then we're gonna cut dices. And about how big are we going? Size of a kernel. Right. Oh. We can't change the size of the corn kernel, but we can change the size of the pepper. So the corn kernel is dictating the size of our pepper. All right, now we have our onions. There we go. All right, let's just finish it up with a little tiny bit of cilantro. So some herbage in there, all in one tiny little spot. Chop it feeny, 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 feeny. There we go. Cilantro in the corn salad. Now I have red wine vinegar and olive oil, a sprinkle of salt, a little tiny pinch of crushed red pepper little spicy stuff, kind of makes it exciting. All right, so while I'm doing this, I'm kind of breaking up the pieces of the corn that are still kind of stuck together. It does not look pretty, and it's only a few ingredients, and look how fast I made it. My salad's done, all right? So I'm just going to do my little sauce situation now. Mayonnaise, real mustard. These are some of my favorite things ever. They're called cornichon, and they are a lovely French little sour pickles. I'm cutting them in half the long way, and then each half in half the long way. You know, it's like when you have things that are very vinegary, very acidic, it's a nice little counterpoint. They go with fatty stuff a lot because it cuts through the fat that's in your mouth, and we're putting these in with mayonnaise, which is all fat. And the very last thing that's going in there is half a shallot. We cut this like we cut an onion, cut it in half right through the middle. We have a corner in which to peel it, and we're gonna cut both pieces. Very fine little dices. See my fingers on top, one time through like that, and here we go. Same size as the cornichon. So I want you to also add to this the cornichon juice. All right, really nice and flavorful, and it will thin your sauce out a little bit. I'm gonna give that a tiny pinch of salt. All right, there we go. And so we see the consistency of our sauce. It's like a very loosey-goosey mayonnaise, right? It's a sauce consistency. Now, with these guys, we can make nice, pretty decent-sized crab cakes. Like, these are big mamas. So look it, I'm just very gently pressing this into a cake. I'm not really breaking it up. You know, this makes me think of like, you know, when you go to our arcade and you get that thing that's the claw. That's kind of what I'm doing here, okay? Everything that we put in there, the saltines, the mustard, the Worcestershire, like all is really highly seasoned. So I haven't added any extra salt to this. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I like to heat up my pan and my oil together. I can't tell how hot my pan is by looking at it, but I can tell how hot my pan is by how the oil behaves in there. The more the oil heats up, the quicker the oil will roll around in your pan. So you see, look at, I'm, my oil's starting to heat up and look at how much faster it's rolling around. It's moving in my pan much more quickly now. It gets much less viscous. So as I shake it and I start to see the little shimmy on the bottom of the pan, then I know my pan is ready and will be hot. All right, so. Do I hear ah, rambunctious applause? There we go, very nice. 
Now we're not crowding our pan. So we just want these brown on all the sides. So look at, I'm using my fish spatula. So get on the bottom of your pan, hold your crab cake and turn it over nice and gently because we don't want these guys to fall apart. This is a nice, gentle cook, right? I don't, and oil, like smoke is not billowing out of my pan. Um, the oil is doing a nice like bubble, but not crazy pants, all right? But there's some action going on in there. Okay. There we go, crab cake's done. Let's plate. So remember this lemon? We're gonna give this just a few drops of lemon juice because we want our salad to be dressed ever so gently, but we don't want it soggy. A little tiny sprinkle of salt and a few drops of olive oil. All right. I'm putting a little pile of arugula. All right, here is corn right next to, but snuggled into my arugula. I'm snuggling my crab cake right on there. When you sauce. As I said, saucing is one of the hardest things you can do. Get a nice, decent sized spoonful, wipe it off on the bottom, and then just let it fall off the tip of the spoon. And then we'll give it a little schmear right around. There we go. And that's all she wrote. Beautiful. Thanks. I'm so excited to try this. Yeah. Me too.